Hello everyone, so today I'll be talking about how to create info tables um, in Wikipedia for your Wikipedia pages. So first off, um, there's a couple ways to create Wikipedia pages. So first, you can um, click insert and then table, which will pull up a blank table. Um, that you have to in manually input um, headers and um, values for. Just going to create a generic table here, names, description, sources. If you wanted to change um, the columns or the rows, so you can um, insert a column before in this example or um, move this column before descriptions um, or delete the column and just hit these blue arrows. Um, if you wish to merge cells, you can select multiple cells um, and then hit merge here. To change the properties of the table as a whole, you hit properties and then you can do various things. For example, you can make things sortable, you can make them collapsible, um, like that. The other way to make a table is by clicking insert and then template. So Wikipedia has pre-made templates um, and you can search for them on Google. Um, so some examples of templates that you can add are the Infobox um, protein template, which has its own um, Wikipedia page, the Infobox non-human protein, and the Infobox person. So this would be for creating um, a biographical page. So each of these pages has um, a usage, so um, some code for you to input into source editing, um, and also explanations of the parameters, which is very useful. Um, so for our example, we're going to be using the info box um, non-human protein. So our protein will be period Serena. Um, and the symbol here so it has these pre-made um, fields, right? Uniprot is a identification um, code for the protein. Um, and this is pure serenus um, organism. So this is from Drosophila. Um, and you can also insert an image, but you do have to go through source editing um, using the, the plain wiki text in order to insert that. You can also add more information as it shows here. You've got 19 more fields to choose from. So I'm just going to insert our inbox non-human protein table. Um, and here you have the product. Um, as you can see, it has automatically linked um, your organism to the org uh, to Drosophila's page. Um, as well as linked the Uniprot um, number, uh, identification number to the uniprot.org page. Okay, now we're going to switch over to source editing, um, where you can see that the same tables are here. So we have, this is the first table that I made, and then um, this is the, the info box that was inserted using a template. So as you can see, we've got some of the fields filled out here. If you want to insert an image, as I mentioned, you can only do this using Wikitext, um, image equals. Um, and then I have, if you wanted to insert an image, you would hit image here and go through upload and upload your image. Um, I already have an image uploaded. Oh, I did. Um, this really quickly. All right. So I previously uploaded this image. Um, so this is just a picture of my clock swipes, but we're inserting this image. Um, yeah, and then I can show you what this would look like. So as you can see here, we have period Serena. This would be your protein um, image. Organism, I can click this to go to um, 
actually going to the NIH's um, uh, website to about um, Drosophila and then also the Unicode website. Um, and so if we look at it at a, um, a completed table, so this is for a timeless the gene, you can see that you've got the info box, now human protein, um, name, timeless. Like some of these categories are filled out already. Um, so when you're editing your page, you can actually just copy all of this information into source editing and fill it out as you go. Um, that might actually be easier um, than, than going through um, visual editing, editing, but it is up to you. Um, if you have any other questions, um, feel free to contact WAC. Um, we will, we're happy to help. Um, thank you.